The human body is a pretty amazing thing. The average adult human has 640 muscles, 206 bones, 12 organs, and so much more than that. The human body can handle so many things, like even some really bizarre things. Medical science has progressed so much, but stupidity will always find a way to amaze the world of medical science and entertain those who know better. This list features some weird and gruesome things that have been found inside human bodies. Some of these events were traumatic accidents, others were self-inflicted acts of idiocy. Spare a thought for the medical fraternity as we reveal the top 10 strangest objects extracted from the human body. Number 10. 10. A Toothpick Recently, a 70-year-old woman from Australia had been visiting her local hospital on a regular basis complaining of severe stomach pain. After her fourth visit in April of 2017, doctors decided to operate to see what was causing her so much pain. They noticed that a piece of her colon had severely inflamed from repeated attempts to use the bathroom and immediately set about removing it. After it was finally cut out of her body, doctors were surprised to find a toothpick lodged in it. Since the operation, the woman has fully recovered from her symptoms and as healthy as can be. Number 9. A Spider On a 2014 trip to Bali, Dylan Maxwell experienced the surreal. A spider had made its way into Maxwell's stomach via an old appendix scar on his stomach. It traveled from his stomach up his torso, leaving a strange red line as a trail on Maxwell's body. It reached all the way up to his chest. When he returned home from vacation, he found that red trail. Thinking he'd been bitten by an insect, he went to the doctor to have it checked out. The doctors informed him that the red mark was actually the trail of a small tropical spider. The thing had burrowed itself inside his body and survived for several days. Three days later, he had the spider removed. Number 8. Cockroach in a Skull the 42-year-old Indian woman was in deep slumber last Tuesday night until she awoke around midnight to a tingling, crawling sensation in her right nostril. At first, the woman, a domestic worker named Selvi, brushed the feeling off, assuming she might be catching a cold. But she soon felt something move. She spent the rest of the night in discomfort, waiting for the sun to rise so she could go to the hospital. I could not explain the feeling, but I was sure it was some insect, she said. Whenever it moved, it gave me a burning sensation in my eyes. After after three vain visits, finally doctors used an endoscope to find the culprit, a blob with a pair of antenna. After a 45-minute process using suction and forceps, doctors were able to extract the bug, a cockroach still alive. Number 7 a tapeworm in the brain. Headaches can be caused by any number of benign things from drinking too much caffeine to staring at a computer screen for too long. But there was a different case for a Chinese man. Unnamed man checked himself into a hospital in the UK after experiencing incessant headaches. When the usual tests turned up nothing, he was given an MRI. Although doctors did notice an abnormality, they could not find anything until a full four years later, at which point they informed the man that he had a tapeworm swimming around his brain the whole time. As it moved through the man's brain, it triggered different elements of his mind, leading to symptoms that included not only the headaches, but also seizures, strange smells, and random flashbacks. It was eventually removed surgically, and the man's symptoms disappeared. Number 6. Body Spray a 39-year-old lawyer was recently admitted to a university teaching hospital because he shoved a lady's perfume bottle so far up his rectum that he couldn't remove it himself, even though he had been able to remove it on previous occasions. The perfume was called Impulse Body Spray, which actually seems to have worked on this lawyer. The bottle measured 3 centimeters by 17 centimeters, and emergency room doctors had to sedate the man with spinal anesthetic to remove the rectal foreign body. Yeah, that's what it's called in medical terms. With their bare sterilized and gloved, of course, hands. The man's rectum swelled up like a happy birthday balloon at the supermarket, but eventually the procedure was successfully performed. Number 5. Cutlery Margaret Dahlman had to go to the hospital and have surgery to remove a collection of forks and spoons from her stomach, digestive system, and throat after the Netherlands woman had swallowed them. Eating strange items isn't a particularly rare event. In fact, one neurological disorder known as pica can be very common in women and can occur due to chemical imbalances or an iron deficiency. It generally causes the sufferer to eat substances that are not nutritious and not readily edible. Number 4. Prison items. 
To be exact, he packed 17 oxycodone pills, one cigarette, six matches, one flint, one empty syringe with an eraser over the needle tip, one lip balm container, one condom, one CVS receipt, and we know how long those are, and a coupon in his rectum. The most impressive thing about that feat, however, is that he stuffed all those objects into a condom. What brand is made to survive that kind of packing? If that information got out, it would have been great publicity. Sneaking stuff into prison happens quite often, but this is really the biggest, most varied grab bag of goodies ever to be almost sneaked in. Officials found the contraband on his body after they noticed him walking a little strange and complaining of pain. Number three, ball points. A man from China recently had two ballpoint pens removed from his stomach 36 years after he swallowed them on a drunken bet. Despite having the 11.9 centimeter, which is about 4.7 inches pens, lodged in his digestive tract for over three decades, doctors thought they were already digested and they didn't cause him any discomfort or produce any symptoms. The operation to remove the pens took place in May of 2017 at a hospital in Kunshan in eastern China. The operation was a success. Perhaps he could have been the world's first First human etch-a-sketch. Now we'll never know. Number two surgical implement. In most surgeries, there's a team of medical professionals who work together to perform a procedure. Everyone has a unique role. Occasionally, surgeons or other surgical staff members will make a mistake by leaving items in the body. It's an emergency surgery. When the surgical staff is focused on repairing a traumatic injury or performing life-saving surgery, they're less likely to pay attention to those smaller details. When a 57-year-old experienced severe pain after an intensive operation, doctors immediately booked him in for an emergency CT scan. The man had under gone an operation to install a shunt that would allow fluid to drain from his brain, and two years later, he never felt fully recovered. Although in chronic discomfort and pain, he was told repeatedly that nothing was physically wrong with him and prompted him to seek psychiatric treatment. Presumably finally fed up with the man's constant complaining, doctors gave him a CT scan, on which they could see a large object located in his abdomen. After reopening the patient's abdominal cavity, surgeons found a set of retractors that had been accidentally left inside the man during the last surgery. Retractors are just doctor jargon for really big tweezers, which were probably thrown into the man in disgust after one of the doctors got frustrated trying to pull out the spare ribs. Number one, pea plant. Back in 2010, a God-fearing and now pea-fearing Massachusetts resident was rushed to the hospital with a suspected collapsed lung. The 75-year-old retired teacher presented with shortness of breath and a cough, symptoms that were initially attributed to emphysema. After the man's admission to A&E, doctors embarked on a frantic and confusing search for the cause of a collapsed lung. The clinical team's differential diagnosis ruled out cancer, but x-ray scans revealed the presence of an unusual growth. There, inside the patient's lung, was a tiny, one centimeter, about half an inch, pea plant. Months prior, he was enjoying some nutritious veggies when the troublesome pea made its way down the wrong chute, entering the trachea instead of the esophagus. Once inside the lung, the pea then split and started to grow. As it turns out, the warmth and moistness of the human lung is ideal for rearing pea plants. Some sage words from him, one of the first meals I had in the hospital after the surgery had peas for the vegetable. I laughed to myself and ate them. Pretty sure that most of you would be confused and horrified, right? So please be sure to make a thorough check of everything you eat. Wait, no, we're just kidding. Stay cool, unless you aren't on the level of such idiocy. We hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more weird and fun stuff. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more weird and fun stuff. Thanks for watching.